Hey guys, welcome back to another road trip video. Today we are heading out to Los Angeles. Well, actually we're going to go to Universal Studios, uh, check out Super Nintendo World, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take the Mach-E. Because the Mini can't make it and it doesn't fit five people. So, alright, so here we are inside the car. Uh, it's at 100% charge, says we have 310 miles of range. Of course, we won't get that, uh, excuse the AC, but it is Arizona and it is getting hot now in May. So we have, uh, there we go, it says uh, we should arrive at Universal Studios at 310. Uh, probably later than that because family's not ready yet. They haven't even come out yet. Uh, but it says we only have to stop once in Indio, California. But like I said, we're going to stop in the infamous Quartzsite EA station. Infamous because of all the videos that are out there and about uh, the long wait times and uh, chargers being down. So yeah, and if we go all the way to Indio, we're only going to get there with a 12% battery charge. Uh, I don't think my wife would like that. She doesn't like getting so low. Um, we had a little incident when we went to Laughlin, um, kind of got back to an EA station with a 2% battery left because I didn't charge to, I didn't charge enough basically at the previous station. But, um, yeah, so let's go on this trip. Hopefully there's no line at the uh, Quartzsite EA station, although last time there was one we were there. Used it in a long time. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready to drive for six hours? Yeah. No. I'm yeah. not driving six hours. I know, you're not. A combined six hours? Yeah, combined six hours. Averaging 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour. See smoke over there? Charger number three is available. Got a black Mach E. Is that a GT? I won't be able to get in there with these vehicles. F 150 and a Porsche Taycan. Are they electric F 150s? Yeah. I can already see it says the maximum power of the charger has been temporarily reduced in order to improve performance and reliability. Yay! All right, so we're trying to charge up, but something's going on. It's not initiating the charge. It says, please plug in. Now, it is a 350, but it was the only one available at the time. Taycan left. Still not initiating. Okay, I switched over to number to the other cable. Still saying please plug in. So 
so something's got to be wrong. Okay, so the tie can was on here, so hopefully this one works. So, excuse the smudges. Go ahead and start number four. Okay, we got blue and it kicked on, there we go, we're at 63% like I said we didn't really need to charge here but we're going to go ahead since my wife only drives up to here but looks like the port side EA station strikes again, number three would not connect so we'll be here maybe I don't know, 15 minutes, everybody's gone to the bathroom. Charging at 50, 52. Yeah, it's charging at only 52. I don't know if you can see it. All right guys, we're back. I'm gonna unplug, we're at 84%. 22 minutes, so that's only 36 cents. I don't know. Okay, right. so not 36 cents, $7.46. 22 minutes. 19 kilowatt hours all right so we're done charging here um, lightning left it's not a bolt he couldn't charge for some reason so he plugged into the other charger which is really kind of messed up because he should really move his car instead of just plugging in he's parked the number one but he's charging from number two um, I don't know. I probably should have known. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and head on out. Uh, next stop is going to be Indio. Yep. Indio should be 30. We should get there at 36% at 1249. I guess I'm getting kicked out. My son is just going to drive now. I got you a water. My wife's going to sit in the back. Okay. Let's get on out of here. Pretty much all there is to eat around the here. Unless you want to walk all the way over here to Arby's. In a mile, turn right into the parking lot. There's an Arby's right there. By that said, just McDonald's and Arby's. Yeah. Chelsea loves McDonald's. Chelsea loves McDonald's. Love McDonald's Chelsea. Yeah. She was sleeping. <laughs> I don't know where the charge is at. Right there. See? Them? There's that ID phone right there. Wow. There's, uh, I think, three station office over there. This is a Chatamo charger. Can I use it? No, it has both. It's just if. Is this lower? Mm, it's a 150. Alright, let's go charge. Yep, so this charger is limited as well. Man, are all these chargers limited? Alright, so we're on number four. And on the EA app also it says 
150 kilowatt charger, assuming that's the 150. You parked too far away. Okay. Starting up. Oh, wow. I hope that's not true. It's at 30 kilowatts. How long will that take to charge? That is really slow. Yeah, so those are only charging at 31. I wonder if these are charging faster. Doesn't say anything about being limited. These are all 350s also. Okay, so we moved over here and we're in number two. It's initiating. It didn't say anything about being limited. These are newer chargers too. Oh, already shot past it. Yeah, it's already at 60, 75. Yeah, so that must have just been the number four over there that was limited. Got here at 42%. Actually, it was like 41. We got 1% over there. Uh, is it going to hit 160? There we go, 160. So that's worth capping up. 160. I have seen it hit 167 before. So yeah, on a 350, on a 350 charger, the Mach-E will hit over 160. I've seen it hit 167 on my car at least. That's the highest. It'll only do it for maybe a minute or so, and then it'll start to ramp down. But actually, it's gone to 163 now. Let's see, 162. Yep, there it goes. See, it only does it for about a minute and then it'll go down. Yeah, peak rate on a Mach E is actually around 167, at least for my car. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go inside and go eat and uh, hopefully be over 80% when we come back. All right, guys, so we're heading back. Uh, here's number four. Let's see what he's charging at. Yeah, it's still limited at 32. Uh, last I checked on my phone, I was up to 90. I don't typically charge that high, you know, so other people can charge and uh, you just don't want to charge over 80% when you're traveling. But we were eating lunch, so it took us a little longer than expected, so it is going to be like over 90%. Uh, but that's okay because when we get to Universal Studios, uh, they don't have any fast chargers. They have, uh, well, they have level two chargers and they are expensive. It's like $2 for the first hour and then I think it's like $4 per hour after that. So I am going to charge there, but not that much. So here we are. Hey, is that you're driving the Cabazon? Yeah. yeah. So we've been here 42 minutes. We got up to 95%. Down to 27 kilowatts. Go ahead and stop it. Unplug. $18.36. So now we're going to go ahead and go I'm going to have to sit in the back because my wife's sciatica is acting up. She wants the bigger front seat. 
That'll be me and Chelsea back here. Hey, Chelsea. And uh, also, my wife needs some new shoes for the park. Some comfy shoes. Sketchers. So we're actually going to stop at the Cabazon outlets. Where they actually have chargers. We could just stop there. It ain't there, but... Didn't think about that. But, uh, it's okay. Or Chelsea could have gotten smaller watermelon. Yep. We're actually going to get there with 77% battery at 228, so... Just a little bit longer. To the outlets. Gonna go buy some some good walking shoes here in Cabazon. Well, everything was closed. They've been out of power since 8 p.m. last night. One of the uh, janitors said that they're working on a transformer somewhere down the street. So, no shoes for my wife. Yeah, so I was just thinking it's a good thing we charged in Indio because if we would have waited to charge here at Cabazon, we would have been in trouble. Probably would have got here with like the 20% battery or less, maybe 15. And I don't think the next station is for another 50 miles or so. So we might have been able to make it, but good thing we charged when we did. <laughs> Finally made it to Universal Studios here in the parking lot. They do have chargers, but they are these. I don't know how you pronounce it. New dough, nudie. I don't know. But they're only level two chargers. Okay, so we're trying to initiate it. It's uh two dollars for the first two dollars an hour for the first two hours and then after that it's six dollars an hour which is very very expensive what are the lights on these crystals plugged in see it's preparing And it started. So I'm only going to charge for a couple of hours today and probably another couple of hours tomorrow and another couple of hours before we leave. All right, so this whole trip was 351 miles, averaging 
three miles per kilowatt hour for the whole thing. It took us six hours and 15 minutes. We did stop a few times. We got here with a 47% battery pack, which is pretty good, but that's because there was a lot of traffic. <laughs> so I'll check in later. Here we go after a long drive, checking in to the Sheraton Universal Hotel. Alright, so we're headed back to the car. We're going to unplug it because we're going to go have dinner at City Walk and I don't want to pay $6 per hour. We might be able to like three hours and be like 20 bucks for just a little bit of charging. We have a Polaris over there, Teslas, and a Mach E. Oh, BMW i3. So, so, Tesla keep turning off. It's only a five kilowatt charger. You guys can see we've only gotten six kilowatt hours we averaged three miles per kilowatt hour over here so that's something like 18 miles at it mm -hmm. i should probably go to the ea station instead but you know it's here the ea station is about 20 minutes away anyway we're gonna go park somewhere else Back to the warp pipe. Anybody want a picture in the warp pipes? You want to stand in line? Yeah. Uh, trippy. Straight ahead. Very impressive looking on the inside. Hey, Mario and Luigi are here. We got our Google, I mean our visors. Chelsea, where's your visor? All right, that's it for Super Nintendo World for now. Great little land, but good theming. Good theming, it's still really crowded. Was hoping that our second time in May wouldn't be as packed, but it's a Monday and it's still really packed. It wasn't that bad in the so if you come, make sure you get early entry. It's a must. That's the only way you're going to ride Mario Kart because right now, let me see, it's a 150 minute wait time. Here we are, exiting through the warp pipe. We might come back at night just to check it out, see how it looks at night.
Here at City Walk, just had some lunch. It's a, a beautiful, foggy day here in SoCal. We had some pinks for lunch, right, babe? And now we're just walking. I thought it was a place with Chinese food, but it's much bigger than I thought. We had some antojitos yesterday. It was okay, not the best. All right, we managed to come back at night. Check out Super Nintendo World. It's 8.30. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get on Mario Kart, but just wanted to check it out at night, see what it looks like. Looks even sweeter at night. Look at that. You want a picture of Peach? Want to try to get a key? Want to try this one? You know what? Let's go do Mario Kart. We're gonna go do it 35 minutes. We won! I got 138, what did you get? 95! Well, unfortunately we couldn't do any more games, they told us. They were closed. I guess I'll, I can get a, a block over here. Just for the hell of it. Bye, Super Nintendo World. All right, so our three nights here at Universal Studios Hollywood are over. Getting ready to unplug. Yeah, only charts 48 minutes today. We're supposed to eat at the restaurant, but decided not to. I charged the first night we were here for a little over an hour and actually almost two hours yesterday almost two hours and uh, let me check so I don't know if you guys can see that but it was 5.23 kilowatt hours today Dollar sixty-three, eleven point eight four yesterday, three sixty-six. First day, six point oh two for dollar ninety-three. So that's five. So that's uh, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen, uh, like twenty-two kilowatt hours. I think so. 22 and we average three miles per kilowatt hour so we got an additional 66 miles back 
should be enough to get us to our next destination, which should be hopefully the uh, India Walmart again. But it's time to head out. Had a great time here at Universal Studios, and we'll be back again sometime soon. Actually, we forgot to check our uh, battery status. We got 72%, we got 188 miles. And the uh, India Walmart, let's see. If it ever comes up, we are in a parking structure, so internet's pretty spotty in here. Okay, so we're gonna get there with a 14% battery. Should arrive there at 120. It's 11:04. You should arrive with a 14% battery charge. Proceed to the route. One last look here at Universal. the EA station made it with 28% battery and uh, it was 128.7 miles averaging pretty good 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour just two hours and 15 minutes go ahead and charge up hopefully no issues well the uh, abscess charger number three is unavailable so Let's see if uh, we can charge through the uh, Ford Oval Network. Or if it truly is unavailable. So it's connecting. No. Yep, unavailable. Let's try it again. Connecting to vehicle. Nope. Well, SAS, it's initiating now. Hmm. Okay, so all the app. EA app said it was unavailable and first time I plugged in didn't want to work Is it going? It's going It's up to 104, 108 So I guess I don't get to use my EA membership discount I'm not sure if uh Doing it through Ford gives you a discount too. I think it does, but I don't know which is best. Let's see, we're at 29%, ramped up to 161. Looks like, oh, no, 162 for a little bit, went back down. Yeah, looks like peak of 162. Let's see when it starts dropping again. It's usually at about a minute. 
then it goes down to 155 around there stays there for a little bit and then it goes up to the 110s Hey, 163. There it goes. Starts dropping. Yeah, so I can only sustain that peak one over 160 for about a minute. And you see it's dropping, dropping. Uh, it usually stays at around 150 for a little bit longer than this. All right, well, don't know if I need to charge to 80%, uh, but according to this, it'll be 239, it's 212. It's like 35 minutes to get to from 29 to 80%. And it's already down to 117. That was pretty quick. Alright, we'll go hit the restroom and wait for about 35 minutes. Alright, so we're done charging. So 81%, 31 minutes. It hit 80% at 30 minutes. And uh, I did leave the car on all this time. Because my daughter was inside. So. Let's go ahead and disconnect. Alright. We got 51.36 kilowatt hours. In 32 minutes. Said like twelve dollars. That was before taxes. Don't know what the final cost is, but all right, ready to go now. Next stop is going to be uh, probably a port side again. Hopefully, everything's working there. We would have enough uh, battery to get all the way home if my son over here didn't drive so fast all the time who's noel noel huh? thank you i was gonna recline my seat all right let's go ahead and get out of here we got 235 miles of range we're 220 miles away from home We could go to Laughlin with three miles, we can get home. <laughs> you still on that? <laughs> well, we are stopped here at Coachella. Been here for about 10 minutes. People are starting to get out of their cars. Some highway patrols went by. Sure, there's an accident up ahead. Maybe they'll get out and check it out. Well, went outside, can't see anything. It's too far away, probably. All the way up to the top of the hill. Can't see anything, it's really far up. I think it might be all the way over the hill. Oh, I guess we'll wait. Uh, looks like the chargers are free. Not like in free, free, just like there's no cars there charging right now. First time ever at this uh, station. It's always full, but it is a uh, Wednesday, so all the other times we have to come and Turn try to right charge. Turn right into the parking on, uh, lot, then arrive at Electrify America. Weekend? On a weekend, Sunday or Saturday. I was afraid I was going to be full because of the long Oh, uh, yeah. 
my wife was afraid it was gonna be full because of all the, uh, when we were stopped for like 45 minutes because of an accident. But, you know, I keep telling her, electric cars, they use a lot of energy when they're not moving. She doesn't believe me. Okay, so we got here with a 34% battery. Still had 95 miles. We might have been able to make it all the way home, anyway, but um, might as well charge. So it looks like my son was averaging. Three point one miles per kilowatt hour. Not bad. Let's go ahead and charge. Okay, so this one appears to be working right away, hopefully. It's connecting. We did plug into the one fifty only. Got two three fifties over there. Uh, these two 150s. I looked at the uh, Rivian Adventure Network and I guess there are some Rivian chargers here now, but I don't know exactly where. Be cool to go check them out. Maybe when we got a Rivian. Uh, looks like it's only going to give us 97. Oh well, we don't really need that much to get home. Uh, we're only about 100 miles away, so let's go ahead and charge. All right, we didn't charge much, just enough to go to the bathroom and pick up a few snacks. We're only 102 miles away from home anyway. And we're here for 14 minutes. And uh, up to 60%. Cool. Good charging experience for being the uh, infamous port site station. to Quartzsite Avenue, then turn left. All right, so we should get home a 16% battery. Get here by 7.30. Let's get out of here. <laughs> We are back home. We got here with 19% battery. This trip took us a little bit longer because of that uh, traffic jam or the accident. It took us seven and a half hours, 350 miles. We averaged 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour, which is pretty great. For the whole trip, looks like 710 miles, 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Another great uh, EV trip in the Mach-E. Car did great. Uh, no complaints with the car. Little issues with charging, but nothing too bad. What did you think, babe? It was a great trip. Great trip. Gonna do it again soon. Uh, we're gonna go to Knott's. Uh, gonna go to Vegas. Gonna go to Carlsbad. So, uh, we'll see. Still loving the Mach-E after a year and a half. Probably gonna do like a 20,000 mile review um, update pretty soon. 
got over 20,000, but you know, okay, I'll probably do a 25,000 mile update on the monkey. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks a lot. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next road trip.